Hi everybody, welcome to Theo and Olaf. My name is Irene. With me is Olaf, our Samoyed doggy, and Theo, our kitty cat, is walking around here. And today we're going to talk about how our move has been up to Washington. For those of you who don't know, we recently moved to a town called Edmonds. Edmonds is about 20 minutes north of Seattle. It's right by the water, so there's great views of the water, of the Cascade Mountains, and there are trees everywhere. Um, there are also a lot of steep hills going towards the ocean, so we get quite the workout. But we've really enjoyed our time here so far. Um, the people are very friendly. We know most of our neighbors now. Um, and it's also a very dog friendly town. We constantly see people walking their dogs. There's plenty of trails for dogs as well. And we lucked out with the weather as well. Um, when we moved here, it was pretty sunny for a few days. Um, it rained just a little bit, but for the most part, it's been very mild. So I think even Eric as a California boy has adjusted pretty well to that. There are also a lot of wild animals around here. We've seen a lot of bunnies, actually. Um, they're all over people's lawns. I probably see half a dozen, dozen bunnies uh, every day when I go on a walk with Olaf, and he's very curious about them as well. I also saw a coyote from a distance as well, so we have to be sure not to let Theo roam around outside. Um, so overall, we're very happy with living in Edmonds. Um, there are activities year round, um, so it's very nice for us to be able to walk downtown and experience all that Edmonds offers. So our house is right outside downtown Edmonds, so the location is very convenient for us. We have a two-story home, new construction. Upstairs is carpeted, downstairs is hardwood, so we decided to limit Olaf's access to just downstairs only. That way it's easier for us to maintain the cleanliness of the hardwood floors. We also discovered that our neighbors in the back have dogs as well. And there's been one time where one of the dogs decided to dig a little bit under the fence and poke its nose under. And Olaf realized that and also decided to jump the retaining wall to interact with his dog. Uh, fortunately, um, the neighbor decided to put a piece of wood there to deter the dog from digging under. So that has helped for the time being. Hopefully there are no more of such interactions going forward. So let's talk about how the move has been for our pets. Um, with Theo, he was very antsy in the beginning. Obviously, it's a very new environment for him, and the house is a lot bigger than our previous apartment. Um, but Theo wasn't too scared in the sense that he wasn't hiding from us. He basically confined himself to one cat tree and stayed there the whole day. But each week, he's um, getting more comfortable exploring the house. He's mostly kept himself to downstairs, even though he has a cat tree upstairs. Um, but eventually, I think he'll be more comfortable with it. Um, one thing we discovered is that Theo actually likes being on top of Olaf's crate and they hang out together um, next to each other, on top of each other. Olaf, on the other hand, has really enjoyed his time here. He loves having a backyard, being able to play in it. He loves rolling in the grass, being able to play fetch in it. Um, so it's been a big bonus having a backyard. We're also really close to a park that has a lot of trails. So Olaf has really enjoyed sniffing everything, going on many hikes during the day. Um, one thing we realized is that we do have to set better boundaries with Olaf, especially outside and with our neighbors. When we were living in an apartment, it was a little bit easier because if we were to open our door, go in the hallway, Olaf uh, wasn't too distracted because it wasn't that stimulating environment. But here, when we open our front door, um, if there's a neighbor nearby, um, if there's like an animal, Olaf is less likely to uh, listen to us, to have good recall. He's more likely to run out to a neighbor, jump on our neighbor, which has happened before. So we need to set better boundaries uh, with him, especially when we're outside, and make sure that we have our training equipment with him when we take him outside, even if it's just for something simple as um, taking him out just to go potty. Um, there's been another time where he's ran after a bunny and it took us forever to get him back. So we have to be very mindful of that, especially since he is in a new environment. Another thing that's recently happened is that Olaf had a bit of diarrhea uh, over the weekend that lasted about three days and it's still, we're still in the middle of figuring it out, but he is getting better. So we have to be very careful about what he puts in his mouth, what he sniffs. Um, there are a lot of flowers and plants that can be very toxic to plants. So that's something to be mindful of, especially if you take your dog uh, on little hikes and stuff. But he is feeling better and for the most part, he is very happy here. So that's it for our moving update. We still have a few things to unpack and organize in our home. 
some furniture to buy. So hopefully our place will be in a more presentable uh, situation the next time we film. Um, but if there's anything you wanna see in our neighborhood, in our house, let us know in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.